Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind and today we are going to be looking at another viewer request by Exile Hypers. This is a vertical flying machine, bi-directional, that means it'll go up or down. And I'd also like to say thank you everybody for helping me hit over 900 subscribers. Currently I'm almost at 950. That is awesome since I just started making Minecraft videos less than two months ago. So, that is great news. Thank you so much for the support. Without further ado, let's take a look at this contraption. And I would also like to say that this is the Bedrock Edition. I'm currently playing on the Xbox One right now, and if you look around, this thing is hideous. It is really hard to make it look pretty. I'm gonna try and fix it up a little bit by the end of the video. But, we hit the button, it goes up. Hit the button again, it'll go back down, we'll fly to the side so that we can see this thing in action. And that is about how it's going. One's pushing, the other is pulling. As it's going up, it does the same exact thing. And I went ahead and installed some call button features so we can request the elevator from the top floor or the bottom floor if it is not on the correct location. So we'll just go ahead and test that out. And that is functioning as well. So. Let's look into the chest and see what we're going to need for this build. Right down here, we are going to be needing two sticky pistons, four observers, ten slime blocks, two immovable objects, I choose obsidian, and two half slabs or full blocks. That was all just for the flying machine and for the ask and receive circuitry. And to power this elevator, we're going to use one redstone block, 19 pieces of redstone, one redstone repeater, one sticky piston, one regular piston, two slime blocks, 13 circuit blocks of your choice, five glass or half slabs, two uh, immovable objects or terrac glazed terracotta if you'd like, and two buttons. So we'll go ahead and grab all of this into our inventory and start building it. And we are going to start out by placing a temporary block on the ground and we're going to build out an L formation just like this. Three blocks out, one block over, and then one block up on that tail end. And right here, that is going to cradle our piston. And these two are going to be for our observers. So that's how that's going to look. Next, we are going to put temporary block there, remove that. Then slime blocks in this formation. So it should look the exact same thing, but inverted. And we are going to place a sticky piston facing down. And then before you place your observers, get your immovable objects, grab your obsidian, throw one piece right there, then up directly above this observer, build up as high as you want. I myself am going to have that this uh, entire flying machine move about nine blocks upwards. So keep that in mind. That is the material list as well is for moving this flying machine about nine blocks upwards. If you want it to go insane heights, you will need a lot more resources. So now we are good to go ahead and toss in these two observers, and you will see that is the reason we did not want to put those earlier. This thing would have taken off all the way up to the build limit if we did not place in a movable object where we did. So, glad that we did that. We will go ahead and throw our blocks on top of this, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to put half slabs, and then you can go ahead and throw another one right up here if you would like as well. And that is the entire flying machine all done. Next, all we have to do is get our inputs to run into these two observers. That one will be the down one. The opposite one will be the one for the up function. So there we go. Run that all the way to the bottom. And we are going to go ahead and build up a frame around this flying machine. And while we do that, I had to ask one quick question. Uh... I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a large moment for me, and I have said in the comments section to quite a few different people that I will go ahead and start a Let's Play after 1,000 subscribers. So if I am to do that, would you guys want to, me to do that on a server or on a single-player survival world? Just a quick question. You can leave your answer down in the comments section if you would. That would be awesome. But for now, this frame is entirely finished. All we have to do is put in the redstone wiring, the circuitry for the ask and receive system. So if you guys want to do that, I'm about to show you guys how to install all of that right now. 
So here we are picking up right where we left off and we are going to start by placing a button right here. That is going to be the first move that we take and we are going to start by wiring up this up section by section. We're going to start with the top section to have it go down. So we'll go ahead and build out a line like this with our uh, circuit blocks. I use yellow wool as you guys probably know. We'll build it down just like this. Then we will run it over one block like that and then these next two blocks need to be either obsidian or glazed terracotta, something like that. I'm using glazed terracotta right here. So we will go ahead and place all of the redstone in. The reason those need to be some kind of a movable object is because the slime will be rubbing against them. But so here we go, we're going to grab some more immovable objects and place them right here for our other floor to the bottom layer. And we will place a button just right about in the same place on the bottom layer. So now to have this thing go on our up function, we are just going to bring out our line of circuit blocks just like this, have it go down. Then we'll wrap it up. We'll have it go out one block past the face of this observer just like this and place a regular piston on its face like that. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and wire that up and hit that button. That should be everything done. If you want to run redstone right in front of that piston's face or the observer's face, you can as well. It won't hurt anything. I don't even think it really needs to be on immovable objects. Yeah, I really don't think it does. So, but there we go. We're going to next deal with the call function to get it from the top down to the bottom. So to do that, we're going to place in a glass tower. You don't need that block that I had placed right there. But here we go. We're going to place in a glass tower or half slab tower just like this to just kind of run the wire straight up to the top like that. And then we will take our regular solid circuit blocks and place two of them right there. Redstone on the top of each of those and that's everything all connected up for the bottom to the top. So if we press this button we should see, yep, our flying machine comes back down to us. Now we're going to wire up for the top to call the elevator if it happens to be at the bottom. So we will go ahead and just grab a, ourselves a sticky piston, place it right here. I'm only going nine blocks up, so I'll only need two slime blocks and a redstone block right there. So if this goes one block down, it will power that. Now we need to place a repeater right there. That's super important. If you don't place the repeater, once that redstone block extends, it will cause an infinite power loop and it will not unlock until you break your system. So here we go. Press the button. And the flying machine comes right back up to the top, right where we want it to. And that is it. That is the whole entire system done. Now I guess all that's left to do is to try and make this thing look good. That is obviously going to be a challenge because this thing is horrendous looking right now. But having said that, I am not taking the challenge lightly. I am going to go ahead and try and make it look as good as I possibly can. Ugh. Alright, so I have to ask, when did note blocks become movable objects? That is crazy and terrible. Well, scratch that. Back to the drawing board. Alright, and we are back, and I did my best. I did the best thing that I could do with this uh, structure, but I would say that it came out looking half decent. Not too terrible looking anyways. I used a lot of glazed terracotta right here. If you are going to go this route and make it look like this, you will need to add a repeater right there because this block and this block will obviously, you know, that block will cut your redstone signal. So we'll go ahead and put these blocks right back. Keep that in mind if you are going to build a skin around this and then leave that block free so that we can actually update the observer. But other than that, it seems like everything else works fine in here. Hit the button, it comes right down just like we want it to. And uh, obviously, like I said, space is so the piston can update that observer still. Uh, underneath, 
you're gonna probably want to light this up or else I can imagine you having spiders or if the uh, flying machines up at the top you'll have creepers or anything in here you, you don't want any mobs in in that area that would be bad news so we will go ahead and ride this thing all the way up to the top I'm sure you could fill this void in with obsidian or glazed terracotta whatever you wanted to right there but if you did find this video useful, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment, and please do subscribe to the channel. It sure does help me a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Rob's Mind, and I'm out.